Gene Peach for Rusty How To. Hey gang, today we're going to talk about buying and selling vintage pencils. Stay tuned, cousins. Rusty How To. Well, welcome back. You might be asking yourself, well, Peaches, why are we talking about pencils today? And I'm going to tell you why. Uh, because when you're out sourcing, pencils are easy to come by. Now, they do sell on eBay. Uh, now, they're not, and they're not going to give you a crazy flip. But uh, that you can usually find them in big bundles and big bags, sometimes you know, bigger than this. I've gone to many thrift stores and estate sales, and it's just a, a Ziploc you know, loaded with pencils, a mix of uh, advertising pencils and you know, just plain old what appears to be normal school pencils. And you can get them for uh, you know, less than $5. And let me tell you what, I would just pick those up. That's my advice to you. I always do. Uh, if they're less than five dollars, especially if they're getting down to like a dollar or so, and you get that big bag, just pick it up, and uh, and I'll tell you why. Because you can go home and, uh, and or go back to your warehouse, wherever that is, and you you split up that lot, and and you can divvy them up by uh, those advertising pencils or maybe these uh, what looks like uh, drafting or, or some something looks special. These plain pencils, ordinary like what you might think a school pencils separate those out um, and then uh, and you can lot them up and uh, you could throw you know a small lot of uh, 25 pencils maybe 50 pencils uh, you might you might get 25 dollars on that uh, or 15 dollars on that so um, you know not a crazy flip and we're not selling them every day but they do sell and they don't take up a lot of space and you know it's just it's a no-brainer okay uh, so um, but here's a few things you need to know about pencils uh, and what you're looking at. And it's not so much so you understand the value, but it's understanding how you can uh, distinguish these pencils in your listing. So there are some things to know about pencils. Now, when you're if you're growing up and you took take those standardized tests, uh, they'd always tell you to make sure you bring in a number two pencil. Um, now, there's uh, there are other variations of pencils. Uh, it all has to do with the lead. Whoops. What makes a number two pencil a number two pencil? What makes a number um, you know a number three pencil a number three pencil? You might even you might get home and you might see that some pencils have um, different ratings. You might see oh look that one says number three. That one says six B. That one says four H. What do all these mean? Uh, I'm glad you asked. Okay, so let's get into that. Okay, so those numbers uh, and, and letters, they talk about, that. they indicate the what kind of pencil lead uh, is inside. The, they describe the core of the pencil. So if you, got, if you have something with a, a, a B, that's going to be a very soft pencil lead. Uh, or the graphite. If you have something with an H, that's going to say uh, that's hard pencil lead. That's a whole hard graphite, um, or I'm sorry, a hard core. Uh, if you have something with an HB, that's going to be hard black. Um, and then some, some of them have F, right? And so that's going to be firm. Uh, so you have uh, B for soft black, you have H for hard, um, you've got uh, B, uh, I already said B, you've got HB for hard black, um, and then you've got F for firm. So, uh, the graphite is, uh, what's in the pencil lead, what makes up a pencil lead, it's actually a mixture of clay and graphite. And so, if, uh, something with a, a B rating is going to be, uh, more graphite than clay, so it's going to have a, a softer, uh, graphite softer core which means the the cut when you draw with it it's going to be really really black and it's going to be smudgy and uh, and artists really like to use those types of pencils in their sketches and then on the other end of the spectrum you're going to have your uh, those firm or HB uh, pencils uh, the H pencils uh, those are going to be used more for uh, technical drawings, uh, it's, it's going to be a lighter gray drawing, uh, finer line, and, um, and you know, a lot of engineers, architects, uh, they like to use those types of pencils.
pencils. Um, and then right down the middle of the line, you're gonna have your number two, you can see the number two HB. This is kind of an all-purpose, all-purpose pencil. Um, these are these are not you know vintage pencils, but they are quality pencils. Look at that. Pencil Makers Association. Hmm. Wonder what it takes to belong to the PMA. Wonder what their annual conferences are like. Hmm. And so the numbers. That's just going to indicate uh, just how soft or how black. So like a, like a two HBs kind of right down the middle, a, um, a six H that's higher, that's a real high hardness. Um, you know, number three is kind of still in the middle, four is somewhere in between. So uh, there you go. So brands to watch out for are Dixon. They make the Ticonderoga, so a vintage Ticonderoga pencil. Uh, those, those for some reason, those do really well. So does Eagle. Um, that brand does really well. Um, so in your listing, if you had um, uh, a big assortment of pencils, you could you could separate the uh, the advertising pencils from uh, the plain pencils. Um, you could do that, and then when you get into the plain pencils, you could separate them by hardness if you wanted. So try to mark it to uh, the artist or to the uh, you know the engineer or the architect uh, and when for your um, advertising pencils what you could do is just look if there's anything interesting in the lot that's humorous or stands out maybe there's a vintage coca-cola pencil uh, you want to highlight in your listing somebody might be after that one uh, some of these I would highlight this these are funny this one says I love band um, this one is an old please return to teacher that was funny um, there's some other funny ones in here. Also, maybe highlight uh, some interesting places. A lot of these are coming out of South Dakota. Uh, some of these are coming out of, um, let's see, all oh, these are just plain. Hmm. And then when it's time to ship, I did a short on this, um, but I like to wrap them up really tight with plastic wrap to make it a solid, um, a solid structure. And then I'll wrap it with bubble wrap and then put it in a bubble mailer. All right, cousins, I uh, hope that helps. And uh, again, when you're outsourcing and you see a big old bag of pencils uh, that's cheap, you know, less than $5, just give it a shot. Go for it. Um, I think you'll be surprised. You know, we've, we've sold, we've, I've picked up bags for, like I said, uh, less than $5 and like maybe 100 pencils and then split them up into four groups of 20, 20, either four groups of 25 or five groups of 20 and I'll, I might throw them up there for 15 to 20 dollars each and, and I'll sell them all so it's a it's a good flip yeah um yeah I hope you enjoyed this cousins and uh, and take care rusted rusted rusty ham rusty 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 ham rusty 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 ham rusty Rusty, rusty ham, doo 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 doo, rusty, rusty, rusty ham, doo.